It's time for some real talk. Patch 1.4 is a huge success for many, but a big disappointment for others. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I think there should have been a console beta weekend. Stick around. What's up guys, it's Skill up here with a Division video. Many of you will have seen my video last night talking about how great 1.4 is and I absolutely stand by those comments. 1.4 is a tremendous achievement on the part of both Massive and the community who contributed to the process of refining it, getting it to the point where it is what it is now. The game has significantly improved things like time to kill and drop rates and the overall sort of moment to moment experience of combat and a whole bunch of other stuff that I won't even list here now. You can go check out that video if you're interested in that. But long story short, 1.4 is actually a really good patch from a design perspective. And certainly on PC, it's technically very strong. I have not heard significant mention of bugs or issues or glitches plaguing PC. On console, however, it is a very different story. I woke up to my video this morning. It had about 600 comments on it. And a good 50 or 60 of those at least pertain to console related issues. Visiting Reddit, we see that one of the top rated threads was in fact a mention that popped up almost immediately after the patch went live saying that Xbox One stutter was just out of this world. I have a video here that you're seeing on screen now showing what that stutter is like and yeah, as you can see, it's pretty problematic. This is definitely one of the more extreme examples, but the fact that this was able to occur in any instance is pretty damn crap. On the PS4, I've also heard of similar complaints. There was another thread on Reddit that popped up saying that people were having significant slowdown issues when they were accessing their inventory, when they were accessing their stash. They had issues where they couldn't actually apply any of their mods and they had to just sell them. There's a whole bunch of stuff there as well. And there's some footage that you're seeing on screen here of PS4 play. And you can see there's also some frame loss there as well. Now on the Xbox One side, the developers have actually gone ahead and disabled voice chat which seems to have improved the situation for Xbox players but it's not perfect many Xbox players are still suffering from both lag and also from stuttering that's making the game very unplayable and on PS4 no action has yet been taken which means that all of the issues that I listed before are still affecting them so as someone who tested the game extensively on the PTS on PC and someone who cares very deeply about the community of players not just PC players but all players, PS4 and Xbox included, I must say I'm really disappointed to see that these technical issues have snuck in. Now I'll fully admit I don't really know the full story here. Massive says that it's too difficult to put a PTS on Xbox One or PS4, but they're not really clear about why it's so difficult to do that. We sort of infer from that that Sony and Microsoft have these rules that stop them from doing it. And certainly we have seen other evidence of these sorts of rules in force. Anyone following the whole Fallout mods debacle on PlayStation 4 will know full well that Sony especially are playing catch up with relation to how you deploy content onto consoles, especially at a rapid pace. A really important clarification here is that of course there are console betas. They happen all the time for games that are about to be released. But Sony and Microsoft do have different policies when it comes to games that have already been released they don't do betas for those games and so I think that's part of the reason why we're having this issue if Sony and Microsoft just made that happen then that's problem solved really but so far they have not enabled that for any game ever released on their platforms so we're sort of assuming that uh, Massive are fighting against Sony and Microsoft and they're trying to make this possible and they've said just as much they did say that they are working on ways to make the PTS available to console players in future and I for one am willing to take Massive at face value on this, they're generally a pretty honest group of people when it comes to what they are and are not doing. So if they say that they're working on a solution to this, then there's a good chance they are. And that probably means that Sony and Microsoft are the ones holding up the show here. So if we do assume that it's Sony and Microsoft stopping a PTS or beta from happening on consoles, then I really think we need to start talking about that a hell of a lot more. It's a bit ridiculous this day and age when so many games are released 
release that require constant updates and where some of those updates can be completely game redefining. It seems a little bit crazy that there can't be some sort of beta client released onto a console that allows console players to test a game before it's released. We've all suffered through many, many crappy console patches across various games that sees the developer then rush out hot fixes or bring their services down for emergency maintenance or whatever, trying to fix the bugs that they have discovered. And this just sucks. Like it's just, we're 2016 now, games are digital. This is how this whole thing works. We download them, they get updated. Like the idea that Microsoft and Sony are holding onto this idea that console certification needs to happen two or three weeks before anything's deployed on a console and there's no space for rapid testing or ideation and mods aren't really allowed and all that sort of stuff just seems so old school. So I'm gonna go on the record here and say that I really think that there should be a PTS for survival. I really wish there was one for patch 1.4, but that ship has sailed. I really think that this debacle now has proven that a PTS for survival is absolutely critical. And if you're not able to do a PTS, which is, you know, like a regularly updated test server, at least have a beta weekend a week before the content is released. So in this way, you can have PC players test the content, make sure all the design is sound, and then you can test the technical aspects of it on a console just prior to release. I really think this is an ideal model and the fact that it hasn't happened yet is a real shame. I'm disappointed in this more than anything else because I have had so many people contact me who have come back to the game after months and months away. They saw my video and they thought, hey, cool, that looks really good. I would love to give that a try. I know the, the, the division burnt me in the past, but I'm willing to give it another go. Only to find that when they log in, the game is almost unplayable due to stutter or lag or slow menus or whatever else. And I think that is a real shame. You only get one chance to make a first impression or in the gaming world, you get quite a few chances really, but patch 1.4 only had one chance to make a first impression. And it certainly has not landed very well for some console players. And I'll be clear about this. This isn't every console player. Many console players I've spoken to, totally fine. But certainly, well and truly enough con console players have contacted me with issues, which is why I felt the need to make this video. So, I don't know what the answer is. I'm not sure if it's massive putting more heat on Microsoft and Sony. I'm not sure if it's Sony and Microsoft just getting their act together and making this happen. I suspect it's the latter, given the fact that we haven't really seen any kind of test client on any game on their consoles ever. I would love to see this sort of thing become industry norm because the fact is we're in 2016 and it's just about time. Meanwhile, guys, I really hope that uh, you are playing patch 1.4 and enjoying it. I hope it's working for you. I know the developers are working feverishly trying to fix all the issues that are currently plaguing console owners. They've made some ground and I'm sure they're gonna to continue to make further ground in future. So, hey, look, hold on. You know, the game that now sits there underneath all of those issues is actually a really good game and it's worth waiting around for. Give the developers a little bit more time to solve these bugs and, uh, and I think you'll be impressed with what you finally get to play when patch 1.4 is fully up and running for you. Anyway, guys, that's it from me today. I'm gonna be working on a should I buy a video very soon, but as you probably can guess, there's a lot that goes into that, given that they are there are like 400 million vendors now and they all sell good stuff. So uh, keep an eye out for that one very, very soon. And of course, State of the Game happens tomorrow night. And, uh, and I think we can probably start to expect some survival news coming through. The developers did say that as soon as patch 1.4 is out, that they are gonna start talking about patch 1.5 survival. So fingers crossed that they'll start chatting about it then. In the meantime, guys, if you liked the video, do drop it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for end-to-end -end division coverage. For now, guys, thanks very much. Take good care and I'll see you in patch 1.4. Bye-bye.